It's been years. I've wanted to make this recipe. But you know what I never had? That big giant piece of leg bone of smoked ham. Because we don't buy it and the stupid thing is like, uh, that's a lot of ham. And uh, What do you do with it? You're supposed to cook it and then freeze all the ham or have a party. But most of our parties that we have in this house don't deal with ham because it's too plain. Anyway, all the vegetables are in there. There's a piece of fresh bay leaf that my wife bought for one of her recipes. So we're just going to put some olive oil in there, sweat that up, and then <clears throat> going to put the ham uh, the ball in there. And what did I forget already? I forgot to put some garlic in there. So, the garlic is the garlic that I have in the freezer that I have minced up with olive oil. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there. Oh, that was a mistake. Now I have too much because I already put garlic cloves in there. You see how much I'm paying attention to what I'm doing? Uh, well, we love garlic here. So forget about the uh, chopped garlic. I have enough garlic cloves in there. Sweat this up nicely. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm making noise. People complain that I hit the side of the pot. Now, I'd like to know... <clears throat> Who doesn't hit the side of the pot when they're cooking? Everybody hits the side of the pot. So you have to live with it. Okay, that's that. And put in a little thyme. Starting off easy, so I'm just going to put a teaspoon of dry thyme in there. It's always nice to sweat up the uh, herbs with the vegetables. Brings out the flavor a little bit more. You don't have to watch me do this. This will take a couple of minutes. So, it's about three minutes later. And we're going to add the bones that we have. There's a piece of bone that was attached over here. Anyway, that had a little, I think, a nice glaze for that hand. So, it's probably about... Two teaspoons of uh, brown sugar added to that, or one teaspoon, doesn't really matter. And then the chicken broth, I used the one from Costco. It's not bad, but of course there's nothing as good as what? Fresh chicken broth. And like I say on my other recipes, I can't be making fresh chicken stock all the time. For these recipes I make. It's just not, uh, doesn't work. So what we have there is one quart of chicken stock and then we're going to add to that one quart of water. And then I'm going to add the beans. And I'm not going to tell you if I wash the beans or pick the beans. Because no matter what I do to the beans, one way or the other, they, it always tastes the same. There's the beans. So this is going to cook. 
until the beans are done and the ham is going to give it a nice, the ham bone is going to give it a nice flavor, hopefully. And that takes care of that. So I'm going to bring this to a boil. Not adding any salt because that ham, you know it has salt in it. And sugar. That's what they inject into them. Um, not going to add anything. When the beans are done, then I'll season them. So we'll come back when the beans are ready. That should take about an hour or so. Well, it was simmering with the lid on for one hour. Now the beans are almost ready. But I have way too much liquid. Now if it was going to be a soup, it might be alright, but it's not. So, therefore, have the flame on high and let this cook down.